Okay, so let's suppose the cafe was seven blocks east and five blocks north, and the streets, they add up to 12 blocks. So what about the diagonal? Well, seven squared is 49 and five squared is 25. If you add them up, we get 74. So C squared is 74 and C will be square root of 74. And that, if you were to put it into a calculator, is about 8.6 blocks. Now notice how it's no longer a tidy whole number. You can't say nine blocks exactly, but instead you get an irrational number, a decimal that goes on forever. But that's the beauty here. Even when life doesn't fit neatly, Pythagoras still gives us a precise relationship. So think about how vital that is. An architect designing a wheelchair ramp would need the gradient to be safe, right? If it's too steep, it'll be dangerous. A surveyor measuring a plot of farmland can't assume neat numbers, but they still need accuracy. A pilot charting a flight path across a curved earth depends on this exact kind of calculation. So here's a neat historical link. In ancient India and China, mathematicians also discovered and used versions of this theorem, sometimes even before Pythagoras. So different civilizations, but the same truth, because the rule is universal. So yes, messy numbers can look frustrating, but they reveal just how powerful this theorem actually is. It doesn't crumble when life gets complex, it still holds.